Merry Christmas, OFNC. We thank God for seeing us through to the end of this year, 2021, and for giving us the opportunity to look forward to the new year, 2022. Have you ever thought about this? That life is a privilege, and we should make the most of it to the glory of God who gave it. We are not owed anything. Therefore, we should be grateful for all that we achieved in the year 2021. We should count our blessings and name them one by one and offer our gratitude to God, our maker. This God decided to come down to earth in the form of baby Jesus and lived to offer himself as a sacrifice for our sins. He did all this condescending so that we may be reconciled to him and have eternal life. If 2021 had been particularly difficult for us, we should nevertheless appreciate and be grateful for what we learned through it. Difficult as it sounds, James 1-2 says, we should count it pure joy when we encounter trials of many kinds because we know the testing of our faith develops perseverance. And perseverance, when it finishes its work, matures us and makes us complete, not lacking anything. Life is a privilege, and we are not owed anything by life. But we thank God that by our divine connection with Him, we can influence everything. That is why Jesus taught us to pray to God. He said in John 15, 16, Whosoever ye we ask the Father in his name, the Father we grant us. This is, however, not a license to ask frivolously, but to genuinely ask for those things that we need to grant us a godly life with contentment. 1 Timothy 6 says, this is great gain. I should add that we are not precluded, however, from having ambition to achieve a mission that God puts in our hearts, however grand, lofty, or impossible they may appear. So we must pray for all to be well with us in 2022, for the praise and glory of our God, in spite of COVID-19. Let us live by faith and in good conscience before God and man. Let us, by God's grace, not live in fear, but be courageous and strong. Let us not forget our full armor in God as laid out in Ephesians chapter 6. Let us know his promise that he will never leave us nor forsake us, as he says in Hebrews 8.15. Herein lies our confidence that all will be well with us in 2022 regardless of what life brings. It is mystery to human mind why Jesus had to come in the form of a baby. It is tempting to think that God has the power to decide to forgive our sins without shedding blood. St. Paul, however, explains in Hebrews 9.22 that without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. God will not violate his own laid down order. So Jesus had to come once and for all to save us by his sacrifice. We are thankful that Jesus came as our King, immortal, invisible, and only wise God. Let us do all that we safely can to celebrate Jesus, our immortal God, joyfully, thankfully, and generously for all it means to us, in spite of COVID-19 pandemic. God bless. Thank you. Bye.